This is Ulaş Ergen from Credit Europe Bank. I'm the head of IT Digital Banking and Software Infrastructure Department within Credit Europe Bank. We are headquartered in Amsterdam. We have also branches in Germany and Malta and subsidiaries in Switzerland, Romania and Ukraine. And I'm happy that you want to share your application with us, what you're doing with Java Wix within the bank. Can you describe a bit what the application does? We have an in-house developed core banking platform. So today I think we'll talk, we'll talk about the Java FX side. So this mm -hmm. platform also has a, cl a client application, desktop application, where our colleagues in the banks are using their daily operations to access the core banking platform. Basically, it's the client application that's running uh, on the desktop. You make us a bit curious. Can you show it actually how it looks like and what it actually does? Yeah, this is um, the okay. application. Uh, we have several menu items uh, in the application. Firstly, we were using a Java Swing uh, based client application. So we wanted mm -hmm. to renew it. For example, time deposits. Okay, so we had a client application looking that like that. We wanted to renew it to provide the best experience for our colleagues, but we also didn't want our co colleagues in the bank to use two applications side by side. We want to avoid that friction. So we wanted to build the platform to, to enable this transition because we have 1,000 screens. Uh, it's a huge effort to convert all of mm -hmm. the screens and test all of the screens and also uh, get user acceptance uh, for all of the screens. Uh, so we didn't want our users uh, to wait uh, for that period. So um, we enabled, we developed a platform to enable uh, this uh, gradual migration. So as the screens are developed, uh, they are presented in this platform in React. But if it's an old Java Swing uh, application, and the end user doesn't need to download the details. You just click on the menu. And if it's a saving application, that it's uh, also presented here. So actually, you're using Java VIX as a means to combine both your old application and your new application, correct? Yes, correct. So the new layout is, based, uh, is done with React. So it's running in a web view within Java VIX? Yes. The white place that you see is in fact a browser component. The other blue parts are JavaFX. Mm -hmm. so, so the, ma the main menu is, is JavaFX. The main menu, login page, and some other, uh, for example, I forgot my password kind of stuff. They are also in JavaFX. Uh, but the business transaction pages, they are in React. Mm -hmm. Can you show us some more of the JavaFX functions that you've used in these applications? the screen that I share, this page is totally in uh, JavaFX. So you choose the branch that you want to work on. And uh, if there is a delegation, you can choose another user to act on behalf of that user. Sometimes if your manager is on leave and you need to approve something on behalf of your manager, it's also here. And also this is the, as I said, we have 1000 screens. We wanted to make it a little bit uh, easier for the end users. For example, this is my history. Uh, in the beginning of this video, I have opened that page. Mm -hmm. But if I go to some other page, um, user roles, I don't know. Okay, for example, this page and go back. This part is totally built in JavaFX. Uh, by the way, what you are seeing now is a call center view. So this application is also running in the call center for our agents. Maybe you see here in the disabled mode is buttons, uh, this answer call, dial call, etc. So these are also functions that enables us to integrate with the Genesis call manager system. That's the IVR system of the bank. This part is also in uh, JavaFX and behind uh, there are SDK calls, uh, for the Genesis system so that the agents are also utilizing this application. If I switch to, for example, regular user mode, I have speed dial buttons here. This functionality is also in JavaFX. So you can define your favorite screens in the bookmarks from here. And 
from the bookmarks, you can choose to pin uh, one of the pages here as a speed dial um, so that you can quickly access uh, if your role requires using uh, some of the screens every day, for example, that might be uh, very handy. And this menu site, this is also in JavaFX. This part, they are all in JavaFX. I like that you can search for a menu because I can imagine with all those screens that it becomes yeah. very difficult to find a specific screen if you're new to this uh, environment. Yes, uh, this feature also is one of my favorites, so that's why I want to show it. Or, for mm. example, if you are on, on a page with some, you can access the search function. This is a JavaFX also feature, uh, so you can uh, switch to other page quickly here uh, using the Spotlight search functionality. Mm -hmm. Banks need really reliable software because you're uh, maintaining the money of the people. So that's a very important asset for everyone. And banks are, by definition, a bit traditional in the technology they choose. They, they choose. Is that also why you're within that Java environment? Being in the uh, IT world in 25 years and uh, as a person that uh, who always worked in banks, I'm a first and the witness uh, of this. Yes, banks are... Uh, conservative. Uh, after all, we are, we are talking about uh, customers assess and heavy regulation. That's for sure. Uh, but Java, it's uh, in fact a, a strategic uh, um, selection for us. As I said, uh, our core banking system is a platform developed in-house in Java several years ago and is also being uh, migrated to our subsidiaries in several countries. So um, we also have a very strong engineering culture with Java. Uh, it's been proven safe uh, for the last 25 years. So uh, uh, that was an easy choice uh, for us to proceed yeah. with Java. Yeah, I think that's one of the, of the main plus points of Java is stability. Even if it evolves now with all these new versions coming out every six months, we have a very stable foundation. Yes, uh, we also have some experience on that front also. Uh, this goal is about mostly about JavaFX, but allow me to switch to that part also. Our core banking platform is developed in Java several years ago uh, with some technologies. Uh, some of them uh, need to be renovated. So we also uh, provide um, started a renovation program for our core banking system. So previously, our systems were running on IBM, AIX, and uh, WebSphere application servers. Now we moved to uh, Red Hat Linux and uh, Open Liberty application server. And in parallel with that, we moved uh, all our systems in the core banking ecosystem from Java 8 to Java 21. And also, as I mentioned, uh, during the digitalization program, uh, we also as, uh, um, gained lots of experience with the cloud native technologies. So our retail banking, our corporate banking, they are all running on cloud. Uh, so we wanted to modernize our core banking system to the cloud native way, uh, start some initiatives for that. We uh, dockerized our applications, run, run it on uh, Microsoft Azure, made some kind of POC, uh, all of this, things uh, in the Java ecosystem uh, were very, of course, not easy, but achievable. Uh, we have a strong engineering culture, uh, thanks to the great team that we have. Uh, we had those all uh, achieved all of those with uh, little difficulty, I must say. And uh, Java has proven itself one more time as a uh, rock solid. Mm -hmm. And I think the developers also like that you move to Java 21 because you have all these improvements in the language, making developer life a lot easier now. Yes, that was also one of the main targets of this. Of course, modernization is also a very big motivation for us going cloud native, but also improving developer experience is one of the aims. While talking about developer experience, another thing came to my mind. Our, as Credit Europe Bank, our first experience with Java uh, FX was a developer tool. As I mentioned, uh, this is a platform and it also comes 
with some plugins for developers. Uh, we had an Eclipse plugin and we wanted to renew it, get rid of it. And let me share my screen again. Mm -hmm. uh, as you see, there are uh, several items to do here. It's related with, with our platform. For example, when you need to, or, uh, when a developer makes a, a new API service or wants to mm -hmm. change, or uh, if you are writing a new query, uh, you need to de define them in the data dictionary, such kind of rules. And uh, these are not only uh, for the sake of definition or governance, the runtime also utilizes these definitions to execute the queries or API. So it's a very critical tool for daily life of, of uh, our developers. So while getting rid of this um, Eclipse plugin, we wanted to experience with JavaFX to see where this technology is. So this is the first uh, tool uh, that gave us courage also to replace our core banking platform uh, with the JavaFX. Mm -hmm. So this tool that we see now is created with JavaFX as an internal tool. Yes, all, all of these screens, everything is in uh, JavaFX. They are used by uh, all the developers of Credit Europe Bank in uh, several countries, uh, organ enterprise-wide. I think that's one of the great things. So Java VIX is used a lot internally in companies to very easily create an application that can be shared within developers or other teams so that they can have some workflow which is uh, optimized and, and simplified. In our case, we had, uh, as I mentioned, a very strong Java team with a very strong engineering culture and in-house building experience. So when we wanted to uh, build something new for the developers, of course, we first look at the Java world, and JavaFX uh, came as the first candidate. Uh, to be honest, we didn't have experience. We also saw it as an opportunity uh, to experience this new thing. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be quite powerful. That's why we also, while renewing our core banking application from uh, Swing, Java Swing, uh, we chose JavaFX uh, as the platform provider. Mm -hmm. Did you face any challenges when doing this first Java VIX application? Uh, as I mentioned, this Java application is a platform, and in that platform, you can also hold the old Java Swing uh, applications. Then, um, with the trading models, sometimes, for example, events, um, Java VIX trend, uh, you have the Java VIX threads and also AWT threads. So we had some very low level trading issues, but as I said, thanks to the strong engineering culture, uh, we managed to overcome those. Mm -hmm. And now it's used in live production without any problems in okay. several countries. Okay, great. Um, is this something that you think you could achieve with Java VIX, which would have been very hard with another framework or solution? For us, since our legacy base was also uh, Java Swing, I think. Java FX also make this transition very easy. So Java to Java world, uh, making a bridge between these two, uh, it made it very quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, uh, we have used uh, JX browser component from the team dev company. Uh, it provides the whole, whole uh, functionality of a Chrome browser inside Java FX. That mm -hmm. also made things uh, very easy. It's very good that the JavaFX ecosystem has such a strong uh, support, external support from other companies. So you're moving away from Swing to this React-based system within JavaVix. Are yes. there more future plans of what you want to achieve with Java, JavaVix and, and this whole new approach? We have a very long uh, menu tree with but, but more than 1,000 screens. So it's a roadmap. So we started converting uh, some of the screens, the mostly used ones, um, most critical ones, most important ones. But to complete the journey will take some years, maybe. Uh, that's in the roadmap. On the other hand, uh, on the Java side, uh, we are continuing our efforts on the core banking modernization. As I said, it's a platform with several platform components. Uh, we have managed to migrate some of them in Azure and make some POC, uh, but that was a hybrid thing. So some of the same things were still running in the data center. So the next plan is to run whole platform in Azure uh, in a cloud native way. Uh, that's one of the uh, exciting projects ahead of us. Yeah, exciting, probably also a bit challenging, but isn't that a good approach for other companies who are 
let's say, stuck on some old architecture to move away part by part and have an interface which is very dynamic so you can indeed link to this new service. Is that not an easy way forward for companies who are stuck to an old architecture? Of course, divide and conquer is always easy. Yeah. So uh, if you can divide it into small pieces, uh, then of course it also eliminates the risk. It also eliminates the long time time because when if the project takes five years, then the team gets also tired. Your stakeholders get uh, impatient. So if you can divide it, of course uh, that would be helpful a lot. I find your project very challenging because you said yeah, I have over thousand screens which need to yes. be ported to the new system. But also I have to agree that you can say to your dev system, to your developer team, now this is a screen we're going to work on and in a few weeks or months this is finished and you can just move on to the next one. I think that keeps the flow into this whole migration. Yes, so we divided all migration into 1000 piece. So you can just deploy two pieces tomorrow and five the next day. So it's uh, very smooth. And users, they don't need to know if this is the old uh, system or new system. Since we avoided having two separate desktop applications running concurrently, they always use one system. And that system knows to show the React page or the Java Swing page. This made things uh, very easy for us and for, for the end users. So the end users, they own the Java VIX application. It just updates itself when they start it again? Yes, we also built a mechanism for that. Uh, it automatically up updates itself. Okay. So I think I, I think you found a very nice use case for having a Java VIX application, which allows you to migrate from an old system to a new system. I really like your example. Yeah, good to hear. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.